Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Planet X News, June 11th, 2020. Folks, some scientific information pertaining to the sun and solar cycle 25 came across my desk this afternoon. And, well, frankly, I wanted to share it with all of you. Um, it's something that I've been talking about for the last two years and um, it's solar cycle 25 and what that relates to is the the sun coming out of this solar minimum and heading into a solar maximum which simply means this 11 11 year cycle moves from the sun sleeping to the sun waking up and what this information that i'm about to go over with you pertains to is the sun waking up with a vengeance and it's called a termination event now it it doesn't mean that the earth gets terminated or anything of that nature uh, the scientists who coined the phrase well we'll just go ahead and get into the information but uh, the article that i was reviewing is titled solar cycle 25 is a termination event is it imminent well let's go ahead and jump into some of this information um it quotes something big may be about to happen on the sun we call it the termination event says scott mcintosh a solar physicist at the national center for atmospheric research also known as ncar n-c-a-r what is a termination event and he states I've never heard of the termination event, you're not alone. Many researchers have never heard of it either. It's relatively a new idea in solar physics. And McIntosh goes on to further state that according to himself and his colleague Bob Lemon, the vast bands of magnetism on the sun are drifting across the surface when oppositely charged bands collide at the equator they annihilate or terminate each other there's no explosion this is simply magnetism not antimatter nevertheless the termination event is a big deal why because it can kickstart the next solar cycle into high gear. Well, folks, you know, the diagram that you're looking at on your screen now, uh, that kind of shows you um, this so called termination event. Uh, you can see over the time period, the little time clock above the sphere, taking you back from, uh, what is that, uh, early 1997, uh, bringing it all the way up to 2021, and it shows the negative and positive colliding together, bingo, right at the equator. Over the majority of my Planet X research, and all of the information that I've shown all of you folks, I have pointed out many, many times how important this equatorial region is. We see a lot of activity, a lot of our sightings or photographs or captures are around this equatorial or equator region of the sun. So the reason why I wanted to go over this with you and point this out is it's just more added proof to what I've been saying, what theories and what hypotheses I have based on this subject is now kind of coming out in real mainstream science. The only catalyst that these two scientists are missing is my information, my data, and the photographic evidence that clearly shows this stellar core object 
passing across the sun's equator twice, twice in a 28-day period, therefore setting off this extreme magnetism that, as you can see on that chart, has slowly been progressing since 1997, which at these points, 97, 98, 99, into 2000s, was relatively normal. But then, around 2007, until our current time now, it has increased to a level where they're now labeling this as a termination event. And I guess it means quickly and fastly terminating the solar minimum and immediately going into a solar maximum, which folks that just that doesn't occur. But it seems to me and it seems to the scientists that this is what is occurring. They go on to further state that there is a very, very high possibility that if this Kickstarter, this termination event succeeds in jumpstarting this solar maximum, then there is a very, very high possibility that this will be an 11 year cycle, a solar maximum from hell which means massive, massive amounts of activity on the sun, active regions on the sun, several coronal mass ejections per day, massive solar fil filaments ejecting from the sun. With the combined 28-day orbit of this planet X stellar core orbiting the sun, this just adds to it. So therefore, what is happening on the sun now and what will be happening on the sun in the very, very near future will be magnified tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold. Nobody really knows. Over the years, I've put forth all of the evidence that I've been able to come up with. Painstaking hours, weeks, months, and years of legitimately doing this research, investigating this matter. And I, would, I was always, you know, kind of hoping at one point in time that, oh, maybe it was just all make-believe like everybody else says. Oh, that's fake, or they've been searching for Planet X for decades. They still haven't found it. Well, you're wrong. I have found it. I have located it. I have detailed photographs and video. I have all of the proof compiled together over the years to prove it. But now, now, mainstream media is 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 or mainstream science is now paying closer and closer and closer attention to what is going out there going on out there excuse me you know nasa has put out two probes all the way straight to the sun they know they know what is there they want to get a closer look at it okay i don't blame them But after all of these years, after all of these decades, let's just say that, it's just like the, uh, the situation that's going on now with um, the UFO disclosure. After all of these decades, now they want to come clean? So now these solar physicists and these solar scientists and NASA, and I'm sure the European Space Agency and, and, and you could definitely, you know, the, the, the Russian Space Agency and, and the Chinese Space Agency, you know that they all know what's going on out there. I, I believe that they need more evidence. They need more science. 
just like the the UFO situation, or they, they they need more science. But what we're seeing with our own eyes, and you know what we're seeing here on Earth, well, that is science. We're living it. You know the ice caps, specifically the North Pole, melting. All of the old ice gone climate changing drastically volcanic activity increasing immensely earthquake activity out of control and just today National Geographic added another ocean to our list they now deem the entire waterways around Antarctica the fifth ocean the southern ocean so times are changing science is changing our world is changing our sun is definitely changing because it has a new neighbor that's closer than mercury larger than Jupiter a mass that is probably unimaginable a magnetism again that is probably off the charts it is truly interacting with our Sun we see it we've seen it throughout the entire solar minimum the constant coronal mass ejections not small ones large ones during a solar minimum consistently almost non-stop so if that is a sign of what we are going to see if this termination event that deals with the colliding magnetisms on the sun if this kick starts the solar maximum with a blink of an eye well Lord only knows what's going to happen I don't think that any solar physicist or solar scientist can predict what can happen what will happen what may happen but it just goes to show you folks for all of these years all of these critics that have called me crazy and other people who investigate this matter oh it's a hoax it's fake it's this it's that you're fear mongering you're I mean every name possible but now we, we, we come to the point where people like that are literally eating crow they're they're eating their own words but, you know, look, there's really no time to be dwelling on that past. Who's to say what happens in this very near future? It should be, <laughs> by the looks of it, yeah, quite interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, please share this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for Planet X News. Follow us on Facebook. And uh, if you need access to our websites or our private network, all of our, uh, all of our links are in the description box under this video. Take care, folks. Be safe out there. And stay tuned to Planet X News.